Hello everyone and welcome to another real estate video. This is Javier Vidania, the real estate YouTube guy here in Phoenix, Arizona, helping you accomplish your home goals. In today's video, I want to have an honest conversation about this situation. Who should be exactly looking to buy a home right now and what the reason should be and if it's okay to. Let's face it. If by you going out there and deciding to go buy a home, you're putting not only necessarily your financial self out there, but you're also putting your personal health out there. Um, we don't know if the person you're going to go meeting at the open house or if your agent is feeling kind of sick and is kind of keeping it to themselves, or maybe other people have walked to the house that were feeling kind of sick. I don't know. You just don't know the situations, right? There is no intentions to this video other than just talking about this because whether I say not to buy or to buy, the fact of the matter is there is a group of people out there that will need to be moving. Maybe you were thinking about being in this category and you're kind of holding back and you need some guidance or maybe you were and you just feel anxiety about the whole situation. So the home buyer in the next few years is gonna look a lot different than the home buyer that we've seen for the last three years. If you haven't seen the video where I made about a week or two ago where I was speculating that the requirements needed to qualify for a loan, specifically the, for the loans that are used by a lot of time by first time home buyers are gonna start rising, I can now for sure say that there is a lot of big lenders out there that have raised the requirements. There are certain banks like Chase who are now saying 700 minimum, 20% down minimum. Including with that, there are a lot of smaller banks who are mortgage brokers who are saying FHA will now be only be done with minimum FICO scores of 640, even 660. In this video, I also discuss about down payment assistance programs and how even though there's still some remnants of them, slowly but surely they're gonna start getting removed. So this means a new generation of buyers coming in the next few months to the next years are gonna be a lot higher qualified. And I also wanna give a reality check to these new generation of home buyers. There's gonna be a strong possibility that your value of your house might not go up. There's a strong possibility for the next year or two, you might see a slight dip. And this is just gonna be the reality. Being a homeowner, it's great having an asset that continually is going up in a great market. But being a homeowner is also taking responsibility for what your situation is. If you're renting someone else's house, you don't care what happens to their value, uh, which certainly sucks when you're in a great market, but in a bad market, you're like, I don't care if they're losing value, I'm paying this month's rent, that's it. So this new generation of homeowners is gonna be in a different boat. Um, you're gonna buy with the anticipation that your value might go down. Will it start going up again? Probably. How long? I'm not sure. But the fact is, is this is going to be reality. So what does this mean? Well, as a new generation of buyers, you're going to have to be okay with that. And you're going to have to be buying with the sole desire of saying, you know what, this is going to be my house. You know, guys, I'll be honest with you, and I'll probably make a video about this. My house that I live in right now, we're running into a small problem where our value wasn't as high as we thought it was going to be after living in it for a year or two. No, you know what? It is a little sad at first, but as homeowners, we love our house. We love the neighborhood we live in, and we can afford the monthly payment. And we know that it's a fixed interest rate, so it's going to be pretty straightforward there. As responsible homeowners, we're willing to take responsibility for that and willing to ride the wave of the value of the house. And if it goes down for a bit, hey, you know, we'll stick it out for a bit. And if you know what, we hope that it keeps going up and we hope that it continues. But, you know, long term, we're going to be in this house for the long run. So these new generation of home buyers not only have to be more qualified, but they're going to have to be willing to buy a house for a longer term. So, you know, the days of having a house for two or three years and then selling them to buy another Another one I think are gone for the time being. So now that I've given you a reality check, once again, speculative, I could be wrong, hopefully I'm wrong, like I'll continue to say, let's talk about what are the three things I think a, a buyer needs to have and if they're interested in buying a house right now. First and foremost, I wanna start with this. In my live chats that I have every other day here on my channel, if you haven't uh, checked them out, subscribe to the channel. I like to go live and we get about, you know, maybe a group of 200 people that join and asking rapid fire questions, Q and A style. So if you're interested, go on and, and subscribe and like and do your thing. Um, but I always, people are always asking me, should I buy or should I wait? And one of the first things I always tell people is you need to have a high sense of urgency. What does high sense of urgency mean? Well, let me give you some examples, right? Maybe um, I'm a family of five and we are living in an apartment and we've lived in there for almost three years. My kids are tired of being in cramped up room. I want a yard. My lease is up in two months and I just, I'm sick of being in an apartment. I cannot renew, I don't wanna go rent a house. It's the same price to go rent and as monthly payment than it is to buy. I just wanna go buy something. Another example, hey, 
Uh, we currently live in, we rent out a room out of my in-laws house and we're we're having conflict with them and we can't be living there much longer or they're moving out or they're selling their house whatever we have to find a place to move soon listen if you have the luxury of maybe having over six months on your lease or you have a pretty good situation where you're living with a certain people family that are charging you low rent or no rent and you're able to save a lot more money that way then play it by ear right just just kind of figure out you know month by month and see what's going on and you I mean you have the luxury of doing that take advantage of that the second thing i recommend for you to have if you're looking to buy now is being prepared but what does being prepared mean well having your credit up to par and having not only your down payment saved up but have an extra cushion on top of that um, maybe if you were planning on paying some closing costs to get a better deal having the down payment and closing costs and then some cushion on top of that once again the, the new generation of buyers that we're going to be seeing aren't going to be relying on assistance programs or if they've had lower credit they're not going to be able to purchase until they get a little better with their credit situation how many months of cushion well once again, I, I'd love to throw a number here, and I know a lot of the people on, on online love to throw a number here, and, and if you don't have this month's reserves, shame on you, right? I, I'm not that way, listen. You know how much money you make, you know how much you need to have saved, you know how much your spending habits are, everybody has a certain month minimum they need in their bank account to feel comfort, whatever that is for you, figure that out. And my last category that I think you need in order to buy right now is having amazing job security now i'm not talking about like yeah i'm pretty sure i'll be fine you know uh, my boss says we're not firing anyone anytime soon no i'm talking about like you you know in your heart and soul that with everything happening you are still going to have a job regardless of what's going to happen in the next few months as long as you continue to show up for work you will be fine this is something you just know by intuition um, for example i've said before i have a sister-in-law who works in a factory making plastic masks right now i'd say her job security is pretty secure any amazon people out there i'm sure they're secure as well anyone in the medical field is really secure right now so in conclusion if you're in a high sense of urgency situation where you know you're going to be moving soon, if it's going to be buying or renting, you're going to get out of where you are soon. Second thing is you're prepared. You have taken care of your credit. You have saved the down payment. You're ready to go. And the last thing is you feel like your job is going to be secure enough to last you. Then you might find yourself in a position to take advantage of the low interest rates and go buy now. Just remember your property may or may not go down in value soon. So this means you're going to be buying a long-term asset that might go down a bit in value but you're hoping will eventually get back to normal and go higher than it would be normally and as long as you afford can afford that monthly payment which should be a fixed interest rate meaning it should stay relatively the same payment every month for the next 30 years then regardless of what happens with the value that's your asset and you're going to ride or die with it um, make sure you don't get a monthly payment out of your comfort zone right now and just know when things get tough rentals go up so if you think that your payment is a little higher than what rentals are going for make sure you're not comparing it with apartments make sure you're comparing it with other houses that are like that and you're going to be pleasantly surprised to find out you're paying probably the same if not less than what the rentals are going for in that neighborhood that you're buying in so thank you guys for your time i really appreciate it if this is your first time watching one of my videos welcome to the channel i like to make weekly real estate educational videos to help you accomplish your home goals um, i also go live about every other day to kind of answer your questions whatever they may have i would really appreciate if you like and subscribe and of course if you, is there anything i can help you with let me know if you're looking to buy or sell in the phoenix real estate arizona area all my contact information is below um, and for everyone else feel free to send me a question in any of my method contact methods and i'll try to respond to you thank you guys so much for your time i appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day.